Hey there guys, welcome back to the Bonbon Cocktail Collection. Now as we promised in our first whiskey video, we're going to be looking in depth into some of the subcategories of this great spirit. So today we're going to be doing five of our favourite bourbon cocktails. First up, we're going to make maybe the second most famous bourbon cocktail there is, and that's the mint julep. So this dates back to the late 18th century in Kentucky, made famous at the Kentucky Derby. We're going to start mixing this glass in a Toby tin, you could do it in a mixing glass. But we're going to start with 20 mils of simple syrup. So remember that's one part sugar to one part water. We're going to take a nice mint sprig, take all the leaves off that. Give it a good slap, you know the drill. Straight in there. And then our bourbon. Most recipes call for a, a higher ABV bourbon, a bonded bourbon, like 100% proof. It's because that we're going to make this drink with crushed ice and there's quite a lot of dilution. So you want a bit of a stronger bourbon to stand up against all that water. Um, but if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. Maybe just use a, a little bit more. Uh, so we're going to lightly bruise the mint, you don't want to bash this so much that the mint starts to shred and break down. Again, some recipes will say that you need to leave this mixture for a few hours for the mint to infuse. Some would say even overnight. Great if you, if you can, if you've got time to, to prepare ahead. Let's just pretend we've done that and we'll continue making the drink. So we're going to make this in what we call a julep Tin. They come in various shapes and sizes. We've got a few different ones. So we're going to fill this with two thirds, three quarters full of crushed ice. And we're just going to strain our mixture into that, leaving the mint behind. All right. Now you take your bar spoon. We're just going to give this a stir. You basically want to keep stirring until there's a nice frosting on the outside of the glass. But don't let that just be the only judge. Like, test it, try it for dilution. Of course, if you're drinking this on a hot day, it's going to continue to dilute very quickly. But this is supposed to be like a nice, refreshing summer drink. Quick test. Perfect. So you just want to take your straw. If, you can, if you've got a metal one, that's even better. All I've got nicked, so we've only got plastic ones now. But, and then top that up with more crushed ice. Nice big mound of crushed ice on top. And then finish off with a nice big sprig of mint. Big slap to release the flavors and aromas. And that is mint julep. All right, guys, next up, we're going to make a drink called a Ward 8. And this dates back to 1898 in Boston. Very simple drink. We're going to start with 20 mils of lemon juice. Freshly squeezed, as always. 20 mils of simple syrup. Some grenadine. Now, depending on how sweet you like it, you can adjust the levels of this. I wouldn't go any more than 10 mil. So let's go 7.5. And then our bourbon, 50 mils. That's it. We'll shake that up. And we'll double strain that into a chilled cocktail glass. Finish it off with some orange zest. Nice big piece. And squeeze that on top, and that's it. Water eight. Next up, we're going to make a drink that's become really popular over the last few years, but actually dates back to 1920s Paris, and it's called the Boulevardier. So this is a twist on another very popular drink called the Negroni, which I'm sure you all know. We're going to make this straight in the glass. So just get a uh, rocks glass pre-chilled, filled with ice. 
and we're gonna go 20 mils Campari. Twenty mils sweet vermouth. And then last but not least, our bourbon. Now you can stick with the equal parts ratio that a Negroni would have. That's uh, a 20-20-20, but a lot of recipes call for double the amount of bourbon. So we're gonna go with 40 mils of bourbon. And that's it. Let's give it a stir. Check that for dilution. Needs a little bit more, Let's add a bit more ice. That should do it. And we'll just finish that off with a big orange zest. You can use a wedge or a wheel if you prefer. That's it, Boulevardia. Now, bourbon really lends itself to a whole category of drinks called flips, and we're gonna make a particular type of flip called a Boston flip. It's a shaken drink. And we're gonna start with some simple syrup, 10 mils. Next up, we're gonna use a type of wine called Madeira, 30 mils. And then our bourbon, also 30 mils. And the thing that makes this a flip is the use of a whole egg. So we'll crack a whole egg into the tin. Uh, now you can dry shake this if you like, or you can just go straight with the ice. Just shake the shit out of it. That should do it. Uh, you can use all types of glasses for this, but we're just going to go with a nice chilled cocktail glass and we'll just strain that in there. and then finish that off with a nice dusting of fresh nutmeg. And that's Boston Flip. All right guys, we're gonna finish up with a not so famous bourbon cocktail, but one of my favorites. This is called a Gold Rush, and this dates back to 2001 at Milk and Honey in New York. Now anyone who watches this channel or subscribes to it will know that my favorite drinks are really, really simple three ingredient drinks that subscribe to the two parts strong, one part sweet, one part sour, and this is exactly one of those. So we're gonna start with some honey syrup. This is two parts honey to one part water, 20 mils. Next up, some lemon juice, 20 mils. As always, you can play with those ratios a little bit to make it a little bit more sweet or sour. And then finally, our bourbon, 50 mils. And that's it. Shake that up. And we'll strain into a chilled cocktail glass. I'm gonna give it a double strain. and our trusty orange zest. Probably gathered by now that bourbon and orange go pretty well together. And that's it, Gold Rush. 
All right, guys, those are five of our favorite bourbon cocktails. Thank you for watching. If you haven't seen volume one of our whiskey series, don't forget to check that out. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. See you next time. Freshly grated nutmeg. All right, guys, those are five of our, five of our. If you didn't see the volume one of our, oh. if you missed volume one of our whiskey cocks, volume one of our whiskey cocktail video. Okay. <laughs> if you missed volume one of our whiskey cocktail series, you can check that out up here. There's another one down here for you to check. You can check it out up here. Here's another video down here, selected just for you. If you haven't seen that one. You've got to be fucking doing the fucking, like John Travolta over here. <laughs> Saturday Night Fever.